Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Diamond Painting with Sweet Tea. How is everybody today? I hope you're doing well. I am going to do a little whip and chat. I'm going to try to make it only 30 minutes, and I'm going to do as much as I can on this lovely little tissue box that I got from GBFKE. I think it's adorable. Only problem is it's a weird size, and I'm not really sure I can find any a tissue box that'll go in it, but... You know, you use it for other things. I think somebody told me that they put, like, grocery bags in here. I imagine you could put some type of a garbage bag and pull that out from there. That could be interesting. Um, not really sure how I'm going to handle it. I thought maybe I could get a bunch of those little travel size. I think that on Amazon, they've got different sizes to their travel size tissues. I might try to order some. I've even thought about maybe cutting some down, boxes down. I mean, I'm just thinking of weird stuff, something that I can maybe make this useful. I'd really like for it to be right over here on my table for my tissues. That's what I want to use it for. But anyway, that's what it looks like on the inside. It is nice plastic. It is very movable and it is also very sticky so we're gonna get started here we're whipping and we're chanting and what i'm starting off here um on is the flowers the surrounding color on the flowers i do also see that there are a good many drills that have problems with the silver backing that could cause your drill to look kind of funky what the happens is the underside well what you're putting the drill on could show through but luckily that is pink so it should look okay hopefully I will try to minimize the ones that are kind of wonky oh gosh what can I chat about oh dear Oh, let's see. You guys haven't really heard from much from me about huh, my uh, adventure with my CPAP machine. Oh, boy. You know, I have never thought of myself. Well, I never thought of myself as being scared. But, yeah, I'm scared of new things, especially when I don't know what to expect. And the first week I had my CPAP machine, I seriously could not get into the groove of it. I couldn't do it. Uh, I did have a talk with the company. They, they do periodically call. And double check to make sure everything's going okay. Like if you have problems with the mask. Which I have had problems with the mask. And um. Or if you have problems with the machine. I have got a little issue. Okay there we go. Dude. Alright. I keep going here. And uh. Yeah I've had problems with it. I'm claustrophobic. And so. Yeah, putting that mask on, the, the the headgear and the mask itself made me feel like do you if you've never seen if you've ever seen the movie Alien <laughs> the first movie Alien and that uh, thing comes out of the the egg and latches on to the guy's face. We'll take a look at that. Okay. Yeah, that that's kind of the way it made me feel, and I couldn't wear that at night. That was too creepy to me. Um. And so I I attempted to like put the mask on during the day, and kind of wear it in the living room, and I tried that for a little bit. Um, but I didn't really get going with my therapy and actually using the machine until last Saturday. 
So I've been using it almost a week now. But what I ended up doing is I was so tired by that time. And I wasn't getting very good sleep. I was so tired that I opted to um, take an afternoon nap. So I went, I put that thing on, and I laid on the bed for a good couple hours with that thing on my face, getting used to it, listening to some music. It was daylight, so I had no problem seeing what was going on with me. You know, didn't want to wake up and couldn't see what was going on, so I was able to get used to the feel whenever I was laying down, which differs from the feel of if you are sitting up. Believe it or not, it does. It differs. The pressure and everything differs. So, yeah, if you're having problems, I honestly just say try, like, taking an afternoon nap with it. Of course, there's some people, they slip it on and, hey, it's their bestest friend. And I'm like, no, <laughs> no, I, I had to get used to it. But after that, the next night, I was able to wear a, a mask for four hours, which is what they said to do. You just wear it at least four hours a night. So I did that, and my husband had been so kind as to get online and find me a different mask, and we actually bought a different mask instead of uh, exchanging the mask, because I didn't want to, I actually called my doctor's office and said, you know, I don't like this mask, this is freaking me out, and I think that maybe, believe it or not, I use this same pink over here. I'm not exactly sure why I use the same pink over there, but I do. But it's so light right there, it's going to go really well. It's got that yellow background, so that'll go nicely. But um, what was I saying? I hate that when I lose my train of thought there. We had got uh, what mask I my doctor prescribed me because you have to get it prescribed was a, a it's when I say full face it doesn't cover my whole face it covers my nose and my mouth okay straps around my head and so my problem with that is it was up close to my eyes and it was really bothering me having that section so close to my eyes whenever I first put it on I was just freaked out over that so we got a mask that actually goes up under my nose there are like two nose holes and it goes up under my nose and then covers my mouth and so I tried that I tried the full face one the first night I tried the half mask I call it half mask I half mask I tried two nights and I felt like it was kind of leaky so I haven't quite gotten the the straps set right I've, I think I've got to set the straps right around my head and maybe it'll hold it closer or tighter whatever so that I can I can get rid of a lot of the leaks and or what I feel are leaks I won't tell you some of these things are some of these little circles are super sticky and some are hardly sticky at all and I'm wondering if it's just the drills just stick on one of the places there dude he says no alright I'm going to try to pry you off you do not deserve to go in that circle <laughs> I will find one who is deserving thank you so, yep, I tried the half mask, then I put the full mask back on. So now two nights, I've worn the full mask, and I will let you know that the past two nights, I've slept over six hours one night, and I've slept 
almost eight hours last night with my mask on. Everybody should be going, yay, you did it. Because, yep, I think I'm doing pretty good. So, I am hoping the doctor said that it could be up to like three months before you really feel the benefits of using a CPAP machine. And I'm like, okay. Um, so, I'm hoping for that to be good. They say it's supposed to give me energy, more energy. And come back over here, please. Hopefully I won't be like zonking out like mid-afternoon. I will have the energy to keep on going. Wouldn't that be nice? So, anyway, my next goal, I guess, is to try to lose more weight. That's an ongoing battle. That I have been overweight, honestly, since I was a kid. I grew up um, overweight and oversized because I basically shot up to 6'1" six foot one early in my life and it felt horrible being so tall I was taller than my school principal I was taller than my teacher it was em embarrassing and I wasn't exactly very pretty so yeah I didn't have a great childhood <laughs> no I didn't have a great childhood Hello. It fell off. Sometimes they just fall. You know, I'm getting really close to the edge here. Try to scoot him over just... There you go. Placing right here near the edge is challenging. It's doable. It is doable. Oh, come on. I'm not trying to lose weight uh, for any particular occasion. I'm trying to lose weight because I need to lose weight. And this guy here, he is really stuck. There we go. Now this guy here can get in his place. Hello. I'm not really happy with a stick on here. <laughs> it grabs and then it, when it lets go, it lets go. And then it doesn't want to stick. There we go. So you got to get them right on there. Love them guide circles. There we go. Anywho, um, yeah. My goal is just to try to lose 20 pounds. That would be amazing. Gonna start. You gotta start somewhere, right? I know I've been trying to lose the same five pounds for so so long, and I finally lost them, and then I started getting them a little back, and I'm like, no, 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 no. Okay. Well, looks like I have finished that particular color there. I am going to One of my drills went inside. Hello. There we go. Let's see what else we got here. Hmm. I can do the threes. I can do the twos. Let's do the threes first. Is that really right? Yeah. Ooh, that's a pretty green. Pretty green. We're going to go up in here and get these leaves. Where am I at right now? Oh, I'm just about halfway. 
Yep, Diamond Grandma had said, okay, you need to do a whip and chat of 30 minutes. I'm like, well, okay. So when I saw this little tissue box that I got, I was like, well, that's the perfect thing to work on. Nice little something something that, no, I'm not going to get done. But, you know, 30 minutes. I can do that. My whip and chats are a lot longer. <laughs> Basically because I'm slow. <laughs> Don't you dare. Okay, fine. He says, I want this spot. Okay. Just cover the circle. That's all I can ask. Cover the circle. All right. We are approaching July 4th. July is also a birthday month. My best friend, her birthday's on the 6th. And she is the one that I did the, um, the cat painting on. This is the one where it's the three kitties that look, if their reflection in the water that's in front of them, that puddle of water that's in front of them, they look like big kitties. <laughs> Really big kitties. And so I'm going to be giving her, I hope to see her sometime soon, I'm going to be giving her a uh, that picture. I've framed it, and it looks really nice. And we're going to definitely be giving that to her for her birthday. She will, actually, she'll be catching up with me. Hey. Cool. And my son's birthday is the 15th of July. Boy, yeah, that was a rough summer. <laughs> oh, rough summer in 1981. Being pregnant and hot. Oh, boy. Yep, I always like to have me a big old tall glass of sweet tea. Yes, I did. Touch up his birthday's on the 15th. So we've got that to look forward to. Hopefully we're going to have some kind of something, something going on for him. All right, we're going to do two now, which is the other green. going to be just a little bit more stuff. Oh, come on now. There we go. So the next birthday that we are going to celebrate after that is in October, my husband's birthday. And then we'll celebrate my birthday in December and start everything all over again. But July 4th is coming up. And I had just, I just had a thought that, hey, I would actually like to have like a little cookout, but it's so hot outside. I cannot imagine sitting outside. It'd be nice if I could be on like a pontoon boat or something neat like that. Wouldn't that be cool? Well, it might not be cool. <laughs> It'd probably be hot. But it might be fun. Try to push him on up a little bit. I guess I'll go ahead and do this guy over here before I get to the really big part over there. And I think I'd actually like to have hamburgers, but then I just thought, ooh, but I like hot dogs. So I might just have me a hamburger and a hot dog. Hey. You do what you do. I'm definitely going to do me. I can do nobody else but me. All 
Let's see. Be nice if I could make some kind of a special dessert, dessert or something. A dessert. Don't you love that? Dessert. Cool. What we got going on here? Oh, 20 minutes. I got about 10 more minutes. La 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 Get over here on your circle. Yeah, I saw these tissue boxes. I'm like, oh, how adorable. Well, I love tulips. I don't have any tulips growing in my yard, but I love tulips. I think they're very pretty. I can't say that tulips are my favorite flower. Let's see, what flowers do I like? I like magnolias. I love seeing magnolia trees in bloom. I like crepe myrtles. Um, I guess as far as my favorite flower that's like a cut flower, I like um, stargazer lilies. They are beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But after that, I like tulips. Very, very pretty. Of course, I've got irises outside uh, on my back patio that bloom purple and white. I've got a crepe myrtle that I planted on my hill back in my on my back yard and it blooms whenever it feels like it it blooms a lilac color or a lavender if you want to call it that very light purple and believe me if a dogwood came in purple i would have it but <laughs> i don't have a white dogwood i actually have a pink dogwood it was funny um when was it? Yesterday morning? I think it was yesterday morning. I got up. Um, came in the living room to let my husband sleep a little longer. Came in the living room and went to open the blinds on my window. I look out in the backyard. And I just kind of looked around like, okay, do I see any bunnies or squirrels or anything kind of floating around. I'll try to manhandle this one a little bit. He's not wanting to sit right where I need him. And it looked like I saw something that almost like a bird. It was very strange because this bird was like opening a wing, then it would open another wing, then it would open both wings then then it kind of dipped down up upside down I'm like what <laughs> so i looked really hard i didn't have my glasses on i looked really hard out there and what it was is was a deer was amongst the trees just one deer amongst the trees munching on the leaves i'm like okay so, yeah, that's that's the reason why I don't have two dogwoods. I'm just realizing that I'm out of focus. I am so sorry. And then I'm going to hit the camera. So, so sorry. But, yeah, there was a deer amongst the trees just munching down. And that's why I don't have two dogwoods back there. Is whenever I first planted those dogwoods, Deer came along and basically chomped it, chomped one of them, and it did not survive. But luckily one did. I guess they got their fill off of that one. Didn't quite make it to the other one. Thank goodness. And I never have put anything else back there. I need to put something else. I would like to get like a... Ah, oh, Japanese maple, one of those vivid red ones. I think that would be so pretty. 
but I keep talking about it and I never do it. Hopefully one of these days we will. What am I at now? 24, actually 25 minutes. Alrighty, we are counting down here. Oh, gee. Yeah, the stick is really good on here. When it decides to stick, it sticks. They don't want anything coming off of this thing. All right. I'm going to do it on show now. Okay, it looks good. I hope I didn't get out of focus for too, too long. I will have to look back at that, and I am so sorry. Got to pay attention to that. Alrighty, so we have completed the green part now. I think what I'm going to do to end this is I'm going to do the number, the number four that is amongst all of what's going to be bubble rounds. Whoops. I got it right here. It's a nice yellow. And so I'm going to just kind of go in here and fill them in. Are those ABs? They are not, but I should be doing those as ABs, but I'm not. I've already put those two down. That's okay. That's okay. Come on now. Get in your spot. Get in your spot. Get in your spot. Alrighty, we're getting there. Wait, I tell you. Oh. When it decides to let go, it really lets go. Then it goes right back to where it was whenever I didn't want it there. <laughs> Isn't that the way of the world? Those have a real good shine on those. I'm pretty sure they'll be nice and shiny. Everybody taking part in Christmas in July? It is July 1st. And I um, have submitted my first completed painting. Yep, it's a partial, but... I just had to start with him. He was a cute little, what I call, quilted snowman. Uh, you can check him out on my YouTube channel. Or you can check him out, a picture of him, on Instagram. And, of course, my Instagram address oh, is going to be in the details below. <laughs> Love it. He jumped. He wasn't right in the right position and he jumped. All right. I got one more. Don't want to miss him. No, no. Oh, okay. I've got a couple more minutes. I'm going to actually not do that flower there in the fours. I am going to start, I think, with the big, the big bubble round. Hopefully, we get some wax here. These are big, and I am going to just start placing those. Oh, oh, get on there. Where are you? Am I in focus? Yes. All right, we're going to place these, and I will start... my bubble rounds. I am going to be showing a completion of this product. Whenever I have everything else done, I am working on the Drama Cat. I have got the Luminous Cat done. Up, 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 up. What are you doing, buddy? Any more over there? I hope not. <laughs> All right. 
turn us over. Am I in focus? Yes. Yep, I am working on the drama cat. And I decided to do the lettering and white ABs and promptly ran out of white ABs. So I have ordered some more at my favorite store. <laughs> and I am waiting for them to come in tomorrow. And I'm also waiting on some extra storage to come in. Because I've got 10 more kits to kit up for Christmas in July. And I want to kit all that up. So I'm going to be a busy girl. There we go. Because I want to finish this. And I'm going to want to finish another item for Christmas in July. Hope you're following along. And so right there, I'm going to stop. I am at uh, a little over 31 minutes. Thank you so much for watching. You will see this completed item um, whenever I have all the other products finished. And it should be extremely pretty. I can just tell right now it's going to be nice and shiny and sparkly. Very nice. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. And become one of my sweet tea sweeties. Love you guys. I want you to uh, hug somebody today, please. And also give somebody a big smile. Uh, love that. Smile. And, um, yeah, make them wonder what you're smiling about. Y'all take care of yourselves. Love you. Sweet tea signing off for now.